You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, assholeconsulting.com. I got through like maybe half of the videos today. If you have a question, go to assholeconsulting.com. The old captain. I am aware there's a crucifix back there. I already got coming. Dude, you know there's a crucifix? Yes, I am aware. It's not my house. <laughs> this has been the two months of Aaron not being at home. Hello, I am emailing you with a question on what you'd recommend I should do in terms of choosing a college. I'm currently a sophomore in credits attending my local community college here in Western Washington. My freshman year, I attended Washington State University. However, my experience there was less than to be desired, and quite frankly, I almost hated the school due to location and various other reasons. Yet recently, I discovered a school I want I know I want to attend in Oregon State University, yet the only problem is out-of-state tuition. I want to study civil engineering and eventually find work in the Portland metro area because, like you recommended, people should try and find where they want to live, Portland being the area. But should I bust it out for a state but should I bust it out for in-state tuition at WSU and earn my degree? <clears throat> or should I start fresh in a new environment with totally new experiences? I am taking out student loans that I'll eventually have to pay back myself, essentially selling, eventually self-funding my education. To date, I have about 20000 in loans already out. And via the state option, I would have to choose close. I would have close to. $40,000 in debt upon graduation or $70,000 via the out-of-state option. I should probably mention that I live a very simplistic lifestyle and get by on the bare minimum. So although debt does scare me, I remain optimistic in that if I get a good job out of college, I should be able to maintain a livable budget. Yeah, you. I think you'll do all right with uh, civil engineering, um, although it is the joke. What do you call someone who flunked out of medical school? A dentist. Hey, oh, it's the same. You'll be the butt end of engineering joke. Regardless, still a good program. So you're in the ballpark. Now, here's the thing. School is not meant to be fun. I wish you millennials would get that through your fucking heads. I wish Gen X would get that through their fucking heads. I wish the aging baby boomer women trying to find themselves going back again at a doctorate and fucking bullshit degrees would get that in their fucking heads. School is not meant to be fun. You're going to... Adults, people who live in the real world, not dipshits, go to school to get a job. Now, I understand... You may not like your school. I understand you may not like the people. You are not going to school for a social activity. You're not going to school for anything but to get that piece of paper that says, hey, pay me a lot more fucking money than without it. That's it. And on top of it, doesn't matter where you go to school, as long as it's accredited, that is the primary determinant of what you make down the road. So the <clears throat> logical economist in me, the older brother says, Quit being a fucking pussy. You're not being a pussy. You just don't like the school. But suck it up. Go to school. Get your fucking shit done. Now, the other thing, though, here's the deal. Um, also, and, and you agree, that, hey, travel around, find out where you want to go, and I think that you should go to Oregon and get and go there and if you can get in-state tuition. But the key thing is to get in-state tuition. So plan B, what I'd recommend is uh, you are obviously not working. If you are one year into school and you got 20 grand in debt, you are, now here's where you are a fucking pussy. Uh, or you're going to an egregiously expensive school there, but if it's a community college and you're 20 grand in debt, yeah, you're not working. Quit being a fucking pussy and get a job, okay? I don't care if you gotta be a security guard or something, get some fucking job and, and so you're not graduating with 40 or $70,000 in debt. So this would lead me to plan B. I think you should go to Oregon. And I think you should go work there for a year and gain residency and then go back and pick up your, your studies. And the reason why is because you only finished your freshman year. <clears throat> you're not going to forget anything. You're not going to lose your credits. You, you're not going to be set back. At most, maybe you're set back a quarter, if that. You build up some money. You build up this thing called a fucking work ethic. And you join us in the adult world. You can maybe even pay down a little bit of your uh, student loan debts. Now, I know you would lose... You're funding for that year, but you millennials have got to stop living off of your student loan debts. That is not how you live. You have to support yourself. You have to earn an income. Debts are used for investments or purchasing things. They are not used for living expenses, right? So you should at least be paying for your health care, your insurance, your rent, your food, your clothing, and your shelter, and the government support. The loan should go to pay for tuition and books. That's it, okay? But I know... You know, why fucking support herself? So, I think it'd be a very good experience for you 
to grow a couple hairs on your chest. You go down to Oregon. You don't go to school for a full year, or you finish up your current semester. Now, I'm assuming you're in your sophomore year. You're in the first semester. So after that, <clears throat> move down to Oregon. Find yourself a job. Well, find yourself a job, then move down to Oregon. Get your year of residency. Get in-state tuition. Make sure it's a year's worth that you have to be there because each state is different. Find out how long you have to work there. Work up some money. Find out whether you like Oregon or not. I cannot, I don't know why you would want to move to Portland, but, you know, different straight. It's, it's like being the chubby chaser of the men's. Like, I don't know why you, but yeah, if you like it, well, I'm happy for you. So if you like Portland, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, then you get your in-state tuition. You'll have a work ethic. You'll have some money. You'll have some income. Your finances will not be as bad as your counterparts. And then you can start up all over. Well, not start up all over again. You'll start what? your second semester of your sophomore year down in Oregon, and you can focus on your construction engineering or uh, civil engineering degree. Now, if for some reason you desperately need your student loans because you cannot support yourself, and that's how you're going to live is by borrowing money from the taxpayer, I'm wondering if that's going to have any bad consequences, I wonder, then <clears throat> what I would recommend is you finish off your sophomore year in Washington. And then to make sure you really, really, really want to go down to Portland, I would go down and take a class, just one, maybe two, certainly not more than that, because you're going to be paying out of state tuition. Just take a class down in Portland at the school for the summer semester, that summer thing. Get a job down there part-time or whatever and see if you like it. See if the because here's what I'm afraid. You're thinking the grass is greener on the other side and then maybe it won't be. Because I don't know what the, I mean, really, in all my experience, Western Washington is better than Portland. Portland and Seattle are shit. Um, and if you're going to become an engineer, you're going to go there. And I mean, if you're a leftist or a liberal, cool. All right. Then maybe you're going to jive with these people. But my God, I mean, I just watching Seattle and then my friends like, yeah, Portland's worse. I'm like, fuck, nope. Watching, what is it? not Portlandia. Watching the... Um, Comedians in cars getting coffee when they go to Portland. I'm like, I'd kill everyone I just saw on that TV show. I was like, except for Jerry Seinfeld, I'd kill them all. Um, yeah, uh, make sure you fucking like Portland because it looks like a shithole. It looks like a leftist piece of shit shithole. Fucking Caracas. My, you know, it's Caracas with, with fog and pasty white people. That is what I'm thinking it looks like. So I would make damn sure you want to go there. I think a good intermediary move without risking a lot is going down there for a summer class finding a job which you need you need to learn to work and then you'll you'll definitely know and then at that point in time at the end of the summer when you say okay um, I really do want to be down here in Portland cool you got three months in already now you got another nine months to go to work maybe take some online classes from Washington University see what kind of classes you could take stay on top of your fine or your uh, not your finance your math classes keep your math skills sharp and then you go full-time the next year at that university you want to go to in Portland. Then you're hired by a construction uh, engineering firm, and they have no contracts because Portland's all about smart growth, and they're not going to build any new roads. You're like, dude, are we going to build a septic thing? No, man. Like, we're in Portland, dude. And, like, we drink our own feces because that's really environmentally. There's zero emission. I would have, like, a small carbon footprint, dude. So I would drink our own urine. We're in Portland. Would you like some urine coffee? Someday it will happen. And we're like, yeah, we, we have urine coffee because I'm sure because it cuts down on water usage because there's such a fucking shortage of water in the Cascades. Anyway, that's what I recommend you do. But I would really, I'd really, actually, you know what? Check out Portland. See if it's any, because here in Western Washington, I'm like, Spokane, that's kind of cool. There's mountains. Um, Yakima, you know, it's kind of, but anyway, best of luck to you out there, toodles.